Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Uh, y yeah, Bob. What do I do? Hmm, let's see. I know, you play the guitar. Bob, I don't have any hands. Oh, you're right. Well, okay, well, you play this. I don't want to play that. I'll look silly. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Nope, not gonna do it. It's for the kids. Oh, okay. But they better not laugh. All right, better get on out there. If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes, up and down the produce aisle. Have we got a show for you? Kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to answer your questions. That's right. So, who's got a question? Oh, hey, I just remembered. I got an email from a kid named Ezio Vieri in Hackensack, New Jersey. You got a what? You know, Bob. Email. Aren't you wired? Online? Surfing the web? HTML, good buddy. Oh, uh, I got cable last month. You are so early 90s. Anyway, Ezio said he just did something that he knew he wasn't supposed to do. Now his friends are telling him to lie about it so he won't get in trouble. What should he do? Ooh, a lie can be a very dangerous thing. Do we have any stories about that? Bob, I'm all over it. Huh? The same thing happened to Junior Asparagus once. It did? I don't remember. Ezio, grab your popcorn, turn down the lights, and get ready for Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. Roll film. Huh? Larry? Sure was. I especially like the part where the space aliens sucked all those cows up into their spaceship and then switched brains with the cows so they could come back to Earth and infiltrate our society unnoticed. Yeah, yeah that, that, was, that was great. What do you suppose that is? I'm bored, Jerry. B-O-R-D, bored. Why did we want to work at the Bumblebird Science Lab? Because we wanted to see space aliens. And what have we seen in two long years? Huh? Nothing. Nothing. N-U-T. You know, nothing. Jimmy? Watch the screen, they said. Keep your eyes on the screen. So we watched the screen for two years. And what do we see? Nothing. And then there's the light. If this light ever flashes, something from space is about to hit Bumblebird. Alert Larry Boy immediately. Jimmy. Like that'll ever happen. I'm telling you, Jerry, this is the most boring job on Earth. Maybe we can get our old jobs back at Mr. Slushy. What? Ah. Oh, 
Master Larry! Excuse me, Master Larry! Yes, Alfred. Uh -huh. No time now, Alfred. Duty call. I'm fooling and I can't get up. Tea party is almost ready. We just need one more plate for Mr. Snuggly. Hmm, another plate. I know just where to get one. Where? Up there. Um, that looks like a very special plate. Maybe we could find another one. Oh, it is a special plate. My dad says. That's Art Bugatti, the greatest roller that ever rolled the ball. Only 200 plates made. It's collectible. Let's just find another plate. Mr. Snuggly is a very special bear. He deserves a special plate. I'm sure my dad won't mind. Mr. Snuggly before, but of course I can talk. Actually, the name is Fibrilius Minimus, but you can call me Fib. You must be new to the neighborhood. You could say that, but more importantly, I'm here to help you out. I couldn't help but notice you broke the plate. Yeah, I... And I imagine your father's not gonna be thrilled. Well, uh, yeah. Now listen closely. What you need is a story. You mean like a bedtime story? No, 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 no. Now try to keep up here, kid. You need to make up a story about how somebody else broke the plate. You mean you want me to lie? Oh, no, 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 no. Not a lie. What we are talking about here is just a little fib. People do it all the time. Trust me. A little fib couldn't hurt anybody. I'm home. Well, it's up to you, kid. Break a leg. Hi, Junior. How was your day today? My plate! My Art Bugatti Limited Edition Collector's Plate! What happened to it? Well... It's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. I tried to stop her. She said she had to demonstrate her apple chopper. Oh, my. If that's what you say happened, then, well, I trust you, Junior. But I'm very surprised at Laura. I'm going to have to call her father right away. You did it! Good work, kid! Huh? Have you grown? Oh, well, no, no. Uh, I've always been this size. But you, you were magnificent. I don't know. What about Laura? Oh, she'll be fine. Remember, a little fib couldn't hurt anybody. And besides, it's over. You're free. You're right. I don't have to worry about that plane anymore. I'm free. You betcha. I feel great. You were right. A little fib can't hurt anybody. 
fun. <laughs> That's my boy. Come on, kid. Let's go have some more fun. All righty. I'm with y'all the way. 